Good morning. Good morning, CCS. CCS family and students and parents and staff. Here we are. Our second week in uh, online learning and creative teaching and trying to uh, stay home, sheltered. Psalms 91 today is uh, our particular psalm. I'm going to read that and then a few comments. It starts out, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I will trust. Surely, surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. Praise the Lord. He shall cover you with His feathers and under His wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. The word is truth. We have God on our side. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that, that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. It's a good word, family. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because... You have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all of his ways, in all of your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Hey, what strikes me about this psalm is that not only does God have everything under his control, uh, it is a reminder that the word is always, always stronger than the world that the message of our values found in biblical truth will always be stronger than the, than, the, than the news out in the marketplace. Not that we should be ignorant of things taking place around us, but we should never be put in fear. You know, I remember a young, a young boy, David, who looked at uh, adversity in Goliath while the rest of uh, his uh, companions, brothers and, and uh, countrymen, were wondering what was going to happen next. David looked at Goliath and ran to the battle. And in the in the approach to Goliath, Goliath was sustaining him, giving him bad news. Uh, Saul gave him bad news. And David was able to look past Goliath and see the Lord. I pray this morning that we're able to see God in the midst of adversity. I pray that we're able to see how God can work in the midst of being at home. Uh, that we find the good in whatever the crazy is, that God is doing his work in our way. What really strikes me about Psalm 91, though, is at the very end, when we get the I will statements, I think there's about five of them. I will set him on high. I will deliver him. I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. You know, the the the... The Bible doesn't say God might. He doesn't say we hope that he, he might, that, that, he, that he could. We didn't even, it doesn't even say that he should. We don't have to be have our fingers crossed, uh, wondering if God is listening, hoping that this is all going to work out. What we have is the assurance that God is able. He who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we could ask or think. I just want to remind all of us, in the midst of this moment, that God is able. He will set us on high. He will answer. He will see us through the trouble. He will deliver. He will satisfy, and he will show his salvation. We want to pray for you today. We're asking the Lord to bless you in every good thing. Thank you for the principals and the teachers and the faculty and, and the staff and, and, and Tasha. She, I've seen her at the table just doing coordination of classes, and she's still teaching, uh, helping teach uh, her two her two uh, CCS students as well. And I'm watching and hearing the attitude of our team 
And what I'm seeing is that these men and women truly respond from a well, from a well-watered system in their life. They really believe what God's called them to do and to be. And through that, what we're seeing is lives are still being changed. Mm -hmm. God is still on the throne. Prayer does change things. The devil is always a liar, and God will get the victory. We're going to pray for you today. Lord, bless everybody at CCS. Bless our families, students, every teacher, every faculty member. We thank you for Calvary Church and the leadership that Calvary Church gives us. We pray over our deacons, and we thank you for Pastor Marty and our pastoral team. We thank you for Emory. We thank you, for Father, for your provision in our life. And we pray, Lord, that we will ingest Psalms 91 today in our own life, that you will see us through this. In a time of trouble, you will deliver. In a time of uncertainty, you will answer when we call upon your name. We bless you. We bless our families. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, pray your day is great and blessed and that we're in this together. God will see us through it. Amen.